What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Let's get into the news. First story of the day is about Apple's HomePod. It's their uh, competitor to the Google Home. Now, this will supposed to be coming out in December of this year, and Apple put out a message to the world letting them know that it's been pushed back to basically the first quarter of 2018. They said early 2018. Now, that could mean uh, January, February, March, April, somewhere in there. If I had to guess, I would assume it'd probably be either January or February. Some news outlets think it's going to be as late as April. I don't think it's going to be that late, but we'll have to wait and see. Again, that HomePod is three hundred and fifty dollars. It's supposed to have excellent sound, and it has Siri built into it. And our last story of the day is about the Galaxy S nine, and it looks like Ice Universe, who broke some news uh, last week, has released some more rumors slash news on the new Galaxy S nine. So Ice Universe has claimed to see the full sized Galaxy S. 9 and we've got some interesting uh, rumors going on about the S9 from his interpretation of what he's seen. So he's saying the Galaxy S9 camera will be a dual camera lens and it's going to have B bar coating on it which stands for broadband anti reflection and it prevents glare, ghosting and reflections uh, so that you don't capture that any of that on a photo you would take and that is currently only on professional DSLRs which is amazing especially if that's going to be on this will be the first phone that actually has that coating. Next up is that the Galaxy S9 models He's talking about S9, S9 Plus, and the S9 Mini, which is, would be their five inch version with the same specs as the S9 and S9 Plus, will come with wireless AKG earphones and also retain the headphone jack in case you wanna plug in headphones. Now I know for a fact that is gonna make a lot of people happy, that headphone jack. I know since having the Pixel phone in, it's kind of been a little bit of a pain in the butt. I know it has with my wife. She's like, eh, it's too much of a pain in the ass to plug in the adapter and then plug in headphones. And it, I totally understand where she's coming from. I miss it. I don't need it, but I would love to have it. And if this Galaxy S9 has a headphone jack, that's going to be a rare thing. Everybody's getting rid of the headphone jack, it seems. Have it be on Android. And obviously, iPhones had it gone for a couple of years now. And then also, that dual, that code on the lens to the, so that you don't get glare and things like that in your photo. Another great thing that Samsung seems to be doing with their phone. We will definitely keep our eyes peeled on Galaxy S9 and whatever other phone news as well. So make sure you're with the channel and that you subscribe guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question of the day is, is the headphone jack important to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said earlier, it's something that I would like to have. I don't need it, but it was. it is like something that just makes life a little little bit easier because you can charge, put some headphones in, and then generally it's much easier to find headphones that have a headphone you know, cord rather than a USB type C. So let me know in the comments down below if you like the headphone jack and if you use it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Peace.